the best of the worst today. E aí, gente? Bem por aqui. Today, I'm going to try what I'm calling the best of the worst, which is six very popular beers. Now, just on the off chance you don't recognize these beers or can't read them, I've got Keystone Light, Bud Light, Miller Light, Natural Light, Coors Light, and uh, what would any contest be without something that sticks out like a sore thumb, and that's Michelob Ultra. So I'm going to do a blind taste test of these, and I want to find out which one of these is the best to my palate, because sometimes you just want to bring one 24-pack to so that people who like diverse things from IPAs all the way to wheat beers can drink beer and not complain too much. So, without further ado, here we go. Okay, well, this is a little um, awkward. I thought that uh, Michelob Ultra was going to stick out, but uh, it really didn't. So, so far we've got head retention that's really good on four and six. It is rather terrible on two. Three isn't that great, but uh, one and five are also pretty, pretty poor. Let's see. Okay, it's got an earthy aroma. It's not too bad. Oh, that's a little embarrassing. That also has an earthy aroma. This one, I can barely smell anything. It honestly just smells like a bathroom that somebody just showered in. It's just kind of wet and humid. This is a little bit more floral. Wow, all of these beers pretty much smell exactly the same. This one is also a little bit more floral, so these two are very similar and a little bit more floral than the other three. Okay, this one is a little bit more earthy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Number one. Okay, it's like drinking sweat. Um, it really doesn't have much mouthfeel and it really just tastes pretty awful. Okay. Oh my God, those two taste exactly identical. Um, yeah, it's there maybe a little earthiness to the sweat but it's it's just it's just not that good okay <clears throat> well that's a lot like drinking carbonated water at least it doesn't taste like sweat um it's like flavorless color uh flavorless carbonated water. There, there's maybe a hint of beer, like somebody waved a beer underneath it and it caught some of the some of the flavors, but and it really doesn't taste like anything. Okay, that doesn't taste bad. It also tastes kind of like nothing, but it certainly is better than these two. Mm. 
This one kind of actually tastes like beer. So, so far this is uh, number one if I wanted to drink something that's kind of beery. If I wanted to taste nothing, these two guys, and I will never buy these two ever again. Okay, that really tastes like nothing. So, the clear standout here is number five. I'm gonna mark that as my favorite between these. And I was gonna mark down the worst, but there's really just a tie. So, and that's between one and two. So, uh, let's go find out who the worst is and who the best is. Okay, so number one, the clear loser, is Natty Light. No surprise there. Number two, now this actually is a shocker. This is the beer that I normally purchase. Three, Coors Light, four is Bud Light, five is the Stone. That's kind of hilarious because I was secretly rooting for him, or maybe not so secretly, which leaves Ultra here at six, which um, that's kind of fascinating that uh, Natty Light and Miller were so, so terrible. And um, Keystone actually tastes like beer. It's, I'm, I'm floored. I'm buying Keystone Light from now on. That's pretty cool. So Keystone, that's awesome. Thank you to my subscribers. And until next time, I'm going to drink me some Keystone.